um, what do you think are the expectations of Zimbabweans uh, following this election? Uh, do they expect their lives to improve or change to the better uh, following, you know, the military intervention or coup or whatever they call it that mm -hmm. forced President Robert Mugabe out and ushered in a new era? You've met many Zimbabweans, right? Mm -hmm. Including here at Voice of America. And anywhere you find Zimbabweans in the world, they're doing great things. They're either heading something or they're on the top echelons of something. They're progressive. They're driven. And I think that is not reflective on the ground. So for a lot of Zimbabweans, they want the life that they're living outside. They want to live it in Zimbabwe. So I think the expectation is that it will create this base and an opportunity where people can maximize on their potential. You know, Zimbabwe has the record of being the most educated population. And imagine the frustration of having people who are educated. And now, of course, you've seen the pictures and the social media, um, all sorts of images that have circulated, uh, you know, them in uh, graduation gowns selling tomatoes and, you know, phone cards and stuff like that. Because for the most part, that's what, that's what many Zimbabweans in Zimbabwe have been reduced to. I mean, and you're not talking just about the young people. You're even talking about the seniors because mm -hmm. of the fact that many who worked for many years who had worked, even earned their pension, literally dissipated. And now they find themselves depending on their kids or their offspring. And so I think it's a, a call for a Zimbabwe that people can feel they can live the life that they deserve. Thank you, thank you. Thank you all for joining us.